Well, good afternoon from uh, Microsoft Dynamics Convergence here in New Orleans. Um, Microsoft Dynamics Convergence 2013. Uh, it's been a very good uh, week for partners and customers in attendance. And um, today I have the pleasure to be with uh, Brian Graftas, Program Manager at Microsoft for the Certified for Microsoft Dynamics GP program. And um, Brian, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, what brings you to Convergence? Uh, this is, uh, I've been at too many Convergences before. It's a great opportunity to connect with our partners. So my role is I work with, uh, I work with ISVs who are, are looking to certify their code for Microsoft Dynamics, not just GP, AX, CRM, NAV, ESL as well. And I've been with, uh, in the channel for quite a long time. I started with Great Plains in 1998 and I was with a partner for uh, five years in the early 2000s. I've been back at Microsoft since 2005, and I've uh, really got a relationship with these a lot of these partners that I've known for many years, so it's always good to get back here and, and, and get a chance to connect. You know. That's great, Brian, and um, you know, tell me a little bit about what's going on today in your um, area of, uh, of work today. I, I know you are in charge of uh, the Certified for Microsoft Dynamics program, obviously not only GP, as you mentioned, AX, SL, um, um, NAV, uh, I'm sure all the ERP programs, but what specifically do you have in mind for uh, partners looking to upgrade to GP 2013? What should they look, be looking at today with their solutions? Well, I'm really excited about GP. Uh, 2013 because as I mentioned my, my background I started with Great Plains and while I'm cross product you know my my my, my heart is definitely you know in, in the GP channel and uh, I'm very excited about the GP 2013 uh, release I think that the, the, the team just did everything really well with uh, with the web client launch I mean I think it's it's just extremely successful partners are able to you know take their on-prem code and deploy uh, through the web client and it's it's worked it worked extremely well. In fact, I talked to one partner this this week at Convergence who had their uh, GP 2010 manufacturing solution and said just last week they had a chance to deploy it in the web client and awesome. they only had yep. they only had one error and they hadn't done any any updates to the code. So the team really did a very nice job. Um, basically, any uh, you know there's some new. Uh, new best practices around the web client to, to help performance, but overall, if if partners are following dexterity standards, you know uh, th their their code will be on premise as it always has, and and, and now on now in the cloud, which is really exciting. Yeah, you guys uh, definitely have done a tremendous job in um, in making migration to the web client pretty seamless. But um, Brian, tell me a little bit about the issues you've seen so far with um, partners trying to move their code to um, and get it certified for web client. What are the common issues you've seen? You know, actually, we, we haven't seen very many, but part of, the, part of it is because the, the, the code is very good, but the other reason is that uh, adoption hasn't been very high. And that's not surprising because we just launched in December and, and, and partners are getting ready to generally they uh, they do a lot of their development inside bef uh, internally before they engage with with me to get to get certified. Um, but but overall, I think that the partner channel is excited. But I haven't heard of a lot of problems. Okay, uh, so how how do you um, uh, basically uh, go about migrating your code to um, to GP twenty thirteen? Obviously, if you follow dexterity standards and you're following um, you know. Uh, you're using things like, um, like uh, you know, source safe and those things to check your code in and out, and uh, you follow those procedures. It tends to be uh, straight, uh, fairly straightforward, right? Um, but normally, what other recommendations do you have um, uh, for partners? What should they be looking at um, when they test their code uh, before they get to you? Sure. Um, one of the things that we really look at is that they they go through and remove dead scripts. And there is a uh, there there is a, a, a tool that allows them to, that helps them go through and do that, and that's just to increase overall performance. You know, it would it would probably run without doing that, but it wouldn't run it wouldn't run well, and customers probably wouldn't be happy. So um, uh, 
there, there are a few other things that we've included in the uh, software solution test guidelines as a best as best practices, um, but uh, you know, uh, form rendering. Think that uh, you know, go through and test form rendering, making sure their forms verify and that they render, render correctly. That uh, uh, you know the, the the ribbons are actually defaulted for for partners, so it really makes it very seamless. But they want to go through and and customize and make sure that you know everything is everything looks looks good. So how can partners get in touch with you to um, to get some of these tools that you just mentioned? For example, the uh, software solution test tool. How can they get that? Uh, if you go to Partner Source on my uh, uh, in the left hand navigation, go to ISV Solutions. Um, I've got uh, I've got links to the overall CFMD requirements, and actually there's there, there's a link to the specifically the GP 2013 certification requirements. So it's it's pretty easy. Also, I'm always available. Uh, my team alias is Dynecert D Y N C E R T at Microsoft.com, and uh, we're supported by Lionbridge, who's a third party vendor who does all the actual testing and they do all the day-to-day -day work with partners. So partners can also reach Lionbridge at CFMD at lionbridge.com. Awesome. Now talk to me a little bit about the cost. Is there any cost associated to um, the certification process for GP 2013? Yes, there is. Um, there, there is a uh, general cost for certification on GP 2013 was $3,500. Um, and uh, with, with the launch of GP 2013, we actually launched what we call uh, we have two tracks because we were seeing that not all partners fit into the track that we had available. So what we what we had always done before, we're now calling our industry solutions track, and that's where you know uh, a lot of our partners traditionally were with you know building manufacturing solutions, building you know retail, building building for you know healthcare, the different industries. But we we really saw a need, and the partners came to us you know over the years and said. Brand, I'm a true ISV. I sell through of our channel. I don't, um, you know, so, some of these were small applications and services. They didn't really quite fit into what we did. So we developed what we call our applications and services track that's, that's designed for those uh, people who are selling, say, BI solutions, things, you know, applications, services that are selling through of our channel. And so the cost of certification on the industry solutions track is still $3,500. But on the applications and services side, it's only $975. And the reason that we're doing that is that uh, it's, Linebridge isn't performing the software solution test. Um, the references are actually be, being done through, <coughs> compatibility is being proven through the reselling partner network. So it's more work for the partner to do that, um, but it's less money. And something that, that I'm very excited to announce is that, uh, that for, for the first six months, any partner who is CFMD on GP 2010, I'm I'm offering a, a big a big discount. Basically, we're offering an upgrade path because we're trying to encourage partners to stay current. Uh, so if they were CFMD on G, GP 2010, rather than three thousand five hundred dollars, uh, even on the industry solutions track, they can they can certify for seven hundred and fifty dollars. Wow, that's a big discount. It is a huge yeah. discount. And, and I really want to reward those partners who are staying current. And also, to be very honest, one of the reasons that we're, that we're able to do that is that we, that there were honestly very few changes, core changes. The changes that were made from 2010 to 2013 were really around best practices with the web client. So the software solution test requirements, um, if a partner passed the compatibility test for 2013, or 2010, they really should pass the compatibility test for 2013. And we're actually offering some free testing just to spot check to make sure, but just to reward those partners who are, are have been loyal and, and to the program, you know, we're gonna let those partners certify for $750. So. Well, that's a, that's a very good incentive. I, I don't see any reason why any partner that's, um, that's currently certified for GP 2010 wouldn't wanna take advantage of that promotion, don't you think? I hope not. I hope not. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Brian, I know this uh, program is geared towards ISVs, but um, do you have any recommendations for customers or actual Microsoft Dynamics GP uh, VAR resellers um, to incentivize them to also get their products certified? 
Well, actually, um, so so the CFMD program was built for you know around ISV solutions, but uh, but we do have CFMD for the VAR channel as well. And so if if a uh, if a partner has if an ISV has has their solution certified, it, it as an added benefit, they can actually certify their VAR channel. Now this is only available. You know, Remember, there was a big cost difference between industry solutions Correct. and application services. Correct. So, so this is only available as a benefit to the industry solutions track. But those partners, uh, you know, McCormick is, is is a good example of a partner who has has really adopted uh, used this CFMD reseller process, and and uh, they can resell uh, certify their VARs for free. Now, there are a, a lot of requirements in addition to this the compatibility test, the requirements. Uh, for an ISV, or they need to have 10 customer evidences. They need to prove that they support their solution. They need to prove that customers are protected through uh, source code escrow. Um, they need to have a, a, a solution roadmap that aligns with our Microsoft Dynamics GP uh, roadmap. And, and also, we need to have uh, um, partner proficiency proven through MPN. But the requirements are much less for for the VARs because the the ISV has already done the real hard work. Correct. So so uh, if if one of the VARs wants to be become certified, the first and most important requirement there is that the ISV nominates them. Certainly, the ISV wants wants to have some control over that, and you know they know who their trusted VARs are. And then the, uh, the then the requirements for the VAR are much lower. They only need two customer references. Uh, they need to have a pinpoint listing support promoting the solution as the ISV does, and then they need to have their ERP silver competency, the same as the ISV does. So it's much easier for a VAR to get certified on, on a, on a uh, solution that's CFMD. Well, it sounds like that's a win-win situation for everybody here, Brian. We think so. The, uh, the, the, uh, the, the CFMD authorized reseller program is what we call the VAR certification. And, and it, it, uh, it's, it's quite popular. A lot of partners aren't aware of it, but certainly want to get the word out that uh, it's a great benefit for those ISVs who have gone through and done their due diligence. And the reason that we do it is, is increased visibility you know, for them on, you know, as you know, we promote these ISV solutions on the Dynamics yep. Marketplace. Yep. So uh, that's a good way for a, a US-based company to get listed in the, the Dynamics Marketplace in Canada, in perhaps France, in Germany, in Mexico, if they Correct. want to. Um, so, or, or multiple listings in the United States. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely agree. And, um, you know, what should customers be looking at? In, in reality, um, what's, what sort of assurances customers get out of knowing that a product is CFMD? Well, first of all, all the requirements for CFMD are meant to address customer concerns. We, uh, you know, the compatibility test, you know, it proves that that solution is compatible with Dynamics GP. It isn't going to cause any problems with their with their GP certification. The the customer references proves that they're not a guinea pig. They're not the first person. They're not getting custom yep. code. Sounds um, like a the, like a concern that customers yeah. always have. Yeah. The solution roadmap, I think, is is a is a fairly new requirement, and that's one that you know, customers, you know, if if a partner's made a commitment. That they're going to stay, you know, current on the, uh, the the Microsoft Dynamics GP statement of direction. That customer knows that that they're not going to be abandoned on an old version. Absolutely. So um, that basically eases uh, the customer into knowing that that solution is certainly um, tested by you guys. Make sure that uh, the the partner is going to be around for a while, and it certainly ensures um, uh, that uh, their solutions is going to work end-to-end -end with your Dynamics GP system, correct? That's exactly it. Our, our, actually, our, our theme for the CFMD program is proven, tested, and recommended. You know, these are proven t solutions. They've been thoroughly tested, and we know that they work with a customer's, you know, specific industry, and they're recommended by other customers, and those are some very strong statements. Brian, well, thank you for stopping by. I mean, I really enjoyed our conversation, and, um, you know, are there any last... Um, pointers for customers and VARs and uh, ISVs overall? I mean, how can they really uh, get in, in touch with you or with your team to, um, to leverage some of these offerings that you currently have going on? And, um, you know, finally, what last um, words you, you have for them? Sure. Well, uh, for partners who are interested in getting certified, 
they can cer certainly reach out to me at dynsert at microsoft.com or to Lionbridge at cfmd at lionbridge.com. And we've got a lot of good information on partner source and Lionbridge actually has it promoted on their website as well. Uh, for customers, if, if they have any questions, I would actually encourage them they, to feel free to reach out to me as well. But we promote all those solutions on the Dynamics Marketplace. So when customers go to the Dynamics Marketplace, they know that the solutions that are there, uh, the, the, the minimum bar actually to be listed on, on the Dynamics Marketplace is that customers need to have passed the software solution test, which proves they're compatible. Uh, so everything, everything that's on the Dynamics Marketplace is, 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 is proven to be compatible. And then solutions that have gone through the full certification have the, the 10 customer evidences, the support verified, actually receive the, uh, the CFMD badge, and, and uh, they get a little bit higher ranking in the marketplace. So if a customer, you know, is, and, you know, GP is a great, great solution. All of, all of our Dynamics products are, are, are great, you know, great products, but they're not, you know, true end to end. They do about 80 to 85% of what a customer needs. And so that's where we really look to our ISV channel to, to take our product, to take GP, and make it a manufacturing solution, make it a healthcare solution. So I uh, encourage customers to go out to, uh, the, uh, the Dynamics Marketplace and look for those solutions. And the other thing that I'd really like to uh, ask them to do is if they are a customer and, and they like that solution, please give those solutions uh, you know, ref, ref, recommendations. They can just quickly provide a recommendation and that really helps those partners in the rankings as well. So I encourage them to do that. Sounds great, Brian. Thank you very much again for stopping by and I truly enjoy our conversation. Well. Thanks, I'll see you soon in Fargo. Thanks, Mario. Bye.